Novak Djokovic versus Stefano Tsitsipas. It's the first quarter final for the Olympics for 2024. And both guys have been impressive to get to this stage. Tsitsipas started the tournament off as number eight seed and will take on Bergs in the first round. And after dropping the second set, will dominate the third, 7-6, 1-6, 6-1. In the second round, he take on Evans. There's no problem for Steph getting through in straights. 6-1-6-2. In the third round, he take on Baez, the number 12 seed, who is known for his clay court tennis. And after a close first set, City Pass would run away with the second, 7-5-6-1, to advance to the quarterfinals. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Ebden in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-love-6-1. Six six in the second round, he'd take on Rafa Nadal, a man that he'd played 59 times previously, which is a record for the most times anyone's played anyone else in the history of the ATP. But unfortunately, Rafa wasn't up to it. Djokovic got the win. 6-1-6-4. Six six in the third round, he'd take on Kepfer, who had taken out Raonic and Anaudi along the way, and after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7-5-6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played 13 times before, with Djokovic leading 11-2 in their head-to-head, -head, having won their last 10 matches in a row. He's also won all five of their clay court meetings, including, of course, that epic match that they played at the French Open in the final of 2021. However, the two matches they have played at Roland Garros have been five sets, so if Tsitsipas is ever going to get a win over Djokovic on clay, his best chance has been at this venue. If Tsitsipas is going to win this one, he needs to serve well and he needs to be aggressive and also bring the variety. Do what Alcaraz does, which is super impossible to do, but try and do what Alcaraz does against Djokovic. Try and come to the net, try and hit the volleys. It's not really his strength or his natural game, but he's got to try and do that if he is going to beat Djokovic, because even if Djokovic isn't looking great this year, it's still Novak Djokovic. Djokovic's going to win this one. He needs to just keep serving the way he has. He's been serving so well over the last couple of months with his knee surgery or post-knee surgery, so he needs to do that, and also be a little bit more aggressive maybe against Steph and take initiative on the baseline. Doesn't want to get in too many grinding rallies with City Pass, especially if the knee does start to hurt him. It hasn't hurt him so far, but it is still a chance that it could hurt him if he does play these long extended rallies. Great matchup. We haven't seen these guys play in over a year, which is kind of crazy because they used to play almost every other week on the ATP, but I have to go with Djokovic in this one in three sets. I reckon City Best can get a set, but that record, that head-to-head, -head, is just way too one-sided. 11-2. I can't go past that. I think Djokovic gets to the semifinals, but let me know in the comments below who's going to make the semis.